This is the Leica MP, a German-made, fully mechanical rangefinder first announced in 2003. Following on the heels of a long line of iconic cameras, the Leica MP keeps true to the design and the function of those cameras, but with upgraded features such as a built-in meter and a clearer rangefinder patch. Right now, it's amongst the only mechanical film rangefinders that you're able to buy brand new. The Letas MP is meant to stand for mechanical perfection. Is it a great camera? Yes. Is it perfect? Well, I'll leave that to you. Here's just how big it is compared to a roll of film, a point and shoot camera, the Ricoh GR1, a Canon DSLR, and a Pentax 67. While it is relatively small, it is heavy and dense, and it comes in at just over 620 grams. It's just about 14 centimeters long, 7.7 centimeters tall, and 3.4 centimeters thick. It comes in two different finishes a glossy piano black paint that will wear over time showing the brass beneath. And this is my main camera and I've put thousands of rolls through it. And it also comes in a matte silver chrome finish. One thing to take note of is the earlier silver chrome models come in a slightly glossier finish, while the later versions are slightly more matte. The one you're seeing here today is a later serial number, slightly more matte silver chrome finish. Besides the silver chrome finish, down through the years, Leica did make several cosmetic alterations to the Leica MP. The earliest production units, also the rarest and the most valuable, have a Leica M6 style back door to it. This was only used for the first few runs of the Leica MP, after which they updated the back door to this, which carries on till today. Later serial number MPs also come with a soft leather grip on it, similar to the M240 or the M10, while the earlier ones have what's casually referred to as a sandpaper grip, which is generally hardier and less prone to degradation. Later serial number MPs also have a thinner font engraved into the camera, while the older serial number ones have a slightly thicker engraving. On the front of the camera, you'll see a viewfinder window, most of which come in a 0.72 magnification, while some a la carte models have a 0.58 or a 0.85. Those differences are a 0.58 shows you more of the world around the frame, which is more suited to 28mm lenses, while the 0.85 is slightly tighter and is great for better focusing accuracy with 50mm lenses. Instead of a more conspicuous red dot like the Leica M6 or the M7, the MP has a more understated screw on the front, and on the left of that is the rangefinder patch. And also on the front is the film rewind lever, a frame line selector switch, and a battery door. On the top of the camera is the film counter to show you where you're at, and the shutter button which in the case of the black paint Leica MP has a chrome surround, and the shutter dial which goes from 1 second to 1 1,000th of a second. It also has a hot shoe which fires a flash, but unlike the M6 TTL, this hot shoe only triggers the flash. Moving on, you'll see the serial number and the Leica script engraved into the camera, and finally, the film rewind knob. The film rewind knob is in the style of the M3, but if that's not to your taste, you're able to get third-party brass adapters that screw onto the knob to make rewinding film much faster. At the back of the camera, you'll see the viewfinder, which does take diopters, and those are really handy things by the way, but along with that, a PC sync port for handheld flash, and an ISO dial, which goes from ISO 6 down to 6400. The side of the camera is where you're able to attach your camera straps, and I use the Peak Design ones, which easily allow you to clip on and off your camera strap. And and at the bottom of the camera, you'll find the bottom plate, and that is where you load your film. A quick tip to load film into this camera is to just pull it all the way and place it between the sprockets. There's no need to try to line it up in between the sprockets, so just pull it flush to the right edge of the camera, and that would ensure that the film will always catch. Here's what the MP looks like with a lens attached. Here we have the Leica 50mm V2 Pre-Aspherical Sumilux. And here's what it looks like with my favorite lens, the 35mm pre-aspherical Sumilux. Full video on that is already out on the channel. 
The great thing about the Leica MP is that it gives you access to M-mount lenses, many of which are amongst the best lenses that you're able to find in the world. You have access to not only Leica branded glass, but vintage lenses and many other third-party options which are great. These days, the newest offerings from Voigtlander and Light Lens Lab rival the best lenses in the world, all at less than $1,000 per piece. But the reason why I love the Leica MP isn't so much the branding surrounding it or the design, and it's definitely not the model name. But why I love this camera is because of what it is in and of itself. A finely crafted picture making machine, a light gathering invention that gives me access to some of my favorite lenses, that has the exact essential functions that enables me to attempt to make the pictures that I want to hold on to. That's all for today's video. Jeremy here. If you want to watch more hands-on videos like this, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.